If you want to export all your trades into your Notion Trading Journal, then all you have to do is click this button, sit back and watch the magic happen. Welcome back guys to another video. If you are serious about improving your trading performance, then you need to start journaling if you haven't started already. One of the most popular platforms that traders use is one called Notion. If you've never heard of Notion before, it's basically a free online platform that you can use to build yourself a personal workspace. And then within that workspace, you can create things such as a trading journal. One of the problems that I faced when I was using Notion as my journal is that I didn't really have a good way of getting all of my trading data from MetaTrader and putting it into my Notion journal. So what I did was I created an expert advisor that can do all of this for me. All I've got to do is just click one button and then as long as I leave it running, all of my trades will be pushed automatically into Notion. If you want to check out this expert advisor, then I'll put a link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through how you can get set up on the expert advisor and how you can set up your notion so that you can start receiving your trades from MetaTrader. The first thing that we need to do is we need to log into our notion. Now, if you don't have a login, as I said, you can create one for free. But once you're logged in, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to browse to notion.so forward slash my integrations. Now, when you go to this page, this is what you're going to see. And what we need to do is we need to create a new integration. So if you click on new integration and fill out this basic information, so you want to assign a workspace to this integration. I've only got one workspace, which is this one, and then we're going to give it a name. So if I just name it MetaTrader to Notion and click Submit, and then I'm going to go down to Capabilities and then just make sure that under this section you have Read Content Ticked, Update Content Ticked, Insert Content Ticked, and under User Capabilities, make sure that you have no user information selected. If that is all good, then click on Save Changes and go back to the secrets tab. Back on this secrets tab, what you're going to do is then if you click on the show button and copy the text in this box here and just keep a hold of it because we're gonna be using this in a minute when we come to setting up the EA. What you need to do now is you need to get the Notion template that will be used with the expert advisor. So I'll put the link in the description for the template. When you click on that link, you'll be on the template so if you go to the top right hand corner and you will see duplicate, if you click on that, then what it will do is it will copy that template into your own personal workspace. And you can see that it's copied by in the corner, you'll have that journal now added. What I've done is I've created a basic template because for the expert advisor to work, it needs certain columns with very specific properties. Otherwise it will fail to send the trades. If you don't have a workspace already set up, then you can use this template as a base for your workspace. However, if you do already have a workspace, maybe you've been journaling already, then you can copy this template into that workspace. And then from there, you can link all of your um, formulas or charts or whatever you're doing. But if you don't have that, then feel free to use this and then you can start to build around it as time goes on. Now, before we move on to the expert advisor and how we can get that set up, there's one more thing that we need to do. So if we go to the three dots in the top right hand corner and click on that, you will see something called connections and add connections. What we need to do here is we need to add that connection that we've created in the beginning stages. So for me, it will be this MetaTrader to Notion. If we click on that and then click confirm, and what that will do is it will allow that connection to actually have permissions to write the trades into this database. Now that that's Notion taken care of, let's get the EA installed and I'll show you what you need to do. It's very, very simple. When you're in MetaTrader, before you run the EA, there's a few things that you need to do. So first of all, 
what you need to do is if you go to the top and click on tools and then go to options you will see the option window and then if you go to expert advisors you need to make sure that allow web request is ticked and then you want to put in the address here okay https forward slash api dot notion dot com so make sure that's added and then click OK. Once that's added, you're gonna then want to run the expert advisor. There's two inputs that you need to fill out to get this expert advisor connected. The first one is the Notion API token. This is that secret that I asked you to copy when you was creating that connection. So if you get that secret key and then you paste that into the first value here, and the second value that we need is the Notion database ID. Now how we get this one is if we go back to Notion and if you look at the web address after the forward slash and just before this question mark here, if you copy these values, this is your database ID. So copy this and then paste it back into your inputs Notion database ID. Once they have been copied, then click OK and the expert advisor should load. Now that it's loaded, if you've never exported any of your trades yet and your database is blank, then the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on this button, get started, export all. And what this will do is it will export all of your trades from your trading history into Notion. So let's click on that now and then I'll go back to Notion and we can see those trades starting to come through. Once that's finished exporting, you'll get this pop-up saying finished exporting trades and then you can click OK. Once those trades have been exported into Notion, let's take a look at what data we have here. So first of all, we have the symbol. We also have the outcome. So was the trade a loss or was it a win? We have the status here, so how was it closed? Did it close manually? Was it a trade that hit the stop loss? Did it hit TP, um, etc.? The order type, buy or sell. We have the volume of the trade, the open date and time, the open price, the close date and time, the close price. You have things like stop loss, take profit, risk to reward of the trade here, gross profit, net profit, the commission of the trade, the swap fees, the magic number, the comments, and the account ID. All of this data is sent by default, but I will show you in a minute that you can actually choose not to send certain columns, um, but if you don't change those settings, then you will get all of this data exported into the Notion template. Now let's go back to the MetaTrader and see what else we have here. The first thing that I want to say is there is a difference between the MT4 version and the MT5 version. The MT5 version has some additional features that you might want and the MT4 version doesn't. Now the reason for that is because MT4 is an older platform and it's not actually compatible with certain parts of Notion and so it doesn't allow you to do certain things. I will be covering all the differences from the MT4 and the MT5 version. And the first one is in MT5, you will have a button called create template. What this button does is instead of using the template from the link that I've given you in the description, you can click on create template and it will automatically create all of those columns for you with the correct properties. The downside of using this button instead of the template from the link is that all of the columns will be sorted from A to Z and so you might want to sort those yourself um, so that your journal looks the way that you want it to look. Um, unfortunately at this time there's no way for me to actually control what order those columns go into. It's completely handled by Notion and the default is by A to Z. Now this option isn't available in the MT4 version so just bear that in mind. The other button that you've got is of course the export all button that exists in MT4. Then we have the send settings button. So if you click on send settings, it will open up a new window. 
we have a few options here and in MT4 you only have the send new close trades option you don't have the other options what send new close trades means is when you take a trade and that trade closes then it will be pushed into the notion template but if you want to send any pending trades or currently open trades then you've got two more options down here so the first one send pending trades and then the second one is send open trades now those are the two options that you don't get in MT4 but MT4 does allow you to send all of your trades once they're closed the other two buttons send open trades so if you've loaded this up and you've already got trades open then you can click send open trades and it will push those currently open trades into your notion and the same for pending trades if we now close this window and look at the export settings if you don't want to export all of your history then you can export maybe just the last day the last week the last month or you can set yourself a custom period for you to actually export so you can choose any date here um, and the year and then you can export that and all those trades will get pushed into notion the last tab that we have here is the fields tab now the fields tab will allow you to include certain data so for example if you don't want to include the opening times of your trades then you can unselect it or if you don't want to include the, the close price for some reason then you can um, unselect it if you click on more settings you'll also get um, some more settings here so by default everything is included but if there was a reason that you didn't want for example to include the account ID then just untick it and then when you send your trades that data will not be sent with it the only other button that you've got here is the get connected help so if you don't want to use the user guide on the internet then you can just click on this and it will give you the instructions on how you can get this set up right from within the expert advisor once you have all of your trades exported into your template all you need to do is make sure that you keep this expert advisor running on your charts and as long as it's running any trades that you take whether that's from your mobile from a different computer or from this one when they close all of them will be pushed into that notion template if you are someone who can't keep this running 24 7 then what you might have to do is when you load up the EA again then you may have to go to that export tab and select the date range that you want to export and then you can push all those trades that were missed into that notion database if you do have any questions or have any issues or you've got any feature requests then feel free to reach out to me on discord or you can reach out to me through my email address there is one feature that I would really have liked to have done and that is sending screenshots with the trades um, but unfortunately notion actually doesn't support this at the moment so I have reached out to them they did say that you can't send any images over this method and it doesn't seem like they have any plans to include that but if I do get any update on that feature then I will definitely include it because that is obviously what every trader needs as well as the data you'd also want some screenshots that's all for this video guys if you like it and you want to try the MT4 MT5 to Notion then feel free to reach out to me um, through discord is the best way but if not then through email and I'll be happy to send you a seven day free trial where you can give this a go and see if it's something that you want to use going forward. But that's all I've got for you in this video guys and if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not part of my community then consider joining. But until the next time guys I will speak with you all soon.